Hey, 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 everybody. How's it going? It is now the most anticipated day of the year. It's the day before the season opens. I'm stoked. I can't sleep. I got, like, jitters going on. I'm excited. This will be the first opening day since I became a duck hunter that I actually had a halfway idea of what's going on. So, we're going to grab some decoys. We're going to grab some stuff. We're going to get ready for Mason. Mason should be on his way from Idaho right now. He's making the 14-hour trip. So, we got all of our gear here, packed up, ready to throw in. I'm not sure whether or not we're taking the canoe. We're going to go on the lake opening day. And you know what? I think it's going to be a ball, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Get ready to see some awesome content. Happy season, everybody. Hopefully, we can get some sleep tonight and kill some ducks in the morning. Okay, everybody. So, I'm going to show you something I learned last year of what to do the, for these early... It's not early season, but just early, you know, we're still in September hunt. What we're going to do is we're going to get some ice ahead of time. Well, the night before, we got our ice here. And we're going to pre-chill our coolers. Not just for food, but also, boom, in the eddy, locked down, ready to go. The reason we're going to do that, A, it keeps your stuff colder, don't have as much ice melt, and then B... Yeah, you know, you can throw some drinks and stuff, some beers in there, that's cool. But one of the main things I like to do is throw my ducks in there. Get them cold as fast as you can, right? The whole point of why we're out here is to get meat, right? We want to get the ducks and take care of them. We're going to eat them later. And there's nothing worse than bad game meat. So take care of your stuff, okay? So by pre-chilling the cooler, once we get the ducks out of the field, we don't throw them in the back of the truck and then take them home like you do in later season. Get them right in the cooler, feathers and all, boom and the cooler get them chilled get home take care of them much better meat quality Go. Take them. Get up. Yep. Yep. Get up. Did you get one? Yeah. Good boy. Remy, oh. over. Remy. I right, get him, Remy. Get him. Good dog. Get that bird. Yeah, we're gonna have to send him one at a time. Yeah, you killed your first duck in Wyoming. Yeah. Your GoPro didn't look like it was on. I think it's off. Okay. Is mine on or off? I don't know what I shot. Good boy! Bring him here! Bring him here! Blow your goose calls tomorrow. I can hear him. Good boy, bring him here! I can hear goose. Geese. Bring him here! Fetch him up! All the way inside. Hit it, take it. Nope, nope, too late, too late, too late. Here, here. Here. Two of them. 
Remy. Another one far side. Nope. Lost. Get him, Remy. Get him. Get him, Colt. Hunt him up. Fetch him up. We got there, Mason. Got a young widgeon. Clipped her in the wing. Colt and I had to chase her for a while. Missed some birds because of it, but. Yeah. She's young, but got nice color in the bill. Once you once you finally shot it, it did a good job of retrieving it though. Yeah. Oh. Um, what else we got in here? Man, I got I'll show you guys. I got a spoonie. Is that your first spoonie? That's my first that's my first spoonie guys. I'm pretty excited about that. I actually thought it was a blue wing the first one he brought it to me because well, the blue and the wings. But and I saw that bill. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> you ever shot a spoonie before? I've never shot a spoonie before. Oh, we got the one. And then we got one more bird we'll show you here in just a minute. Call some geese too. Are you gonna show us the mystery bird maker? Oh, yeah. I told you we might get into a couple of them. I'm not sure what I shot the other one, but first pintail. It's a young oh I shot her eye out. Um yeah, nice pintail. Well, she's young, she's an adolescent. This one's really nice still. Super long wings span. So what's the sprig on the or the stack of sprig on the back? And she's still got her I can tell she's an adolescent by the feathers on the rear. She's less than a year old. Probably this this spring's hatch. How are you feeling about your feelings? Oh, wish I had service to see what shooting that was. Probably gonna have those first two. And then just getting set up late. At least had the cameras on. We weren't worried about cameras at all. We could have had. Both of us could have been shooting. We would have got the first two. Second, I mean, we had just groups of twos and threes. And the way they were coming in, honestly, they were coming in so hot, we probably didn't even have to retrieve them. The birds you had to just leave them out there. And they, they were just working. They weren't even, they were committed. They weren't even calling. Not, we weren't calling nothing. They wanted in, so we just didn't capitalize on it. I'd agree with a lot of that. More of the story is, you know, we. We had to go try to find extra brush because the place we were going to go to, we thought had brush, didn't have any brush. So we had to go find somewhere else to go get it. That cost us time. And I think the main problem is we were still setting up when birds were landing is what I think our main issue was today. But we still, I mean, we still got some birds. We, we had a decent amount working. It wasn't great, but it was good. And actually the A-frame looks better, better than I thought it was going to being brushed in in the dark for the first time. I don't know, what do you think, Colt? You get all the birds? Yeah, I mean, did you get all the birds? Yeah, you get them all? So, stick with us for the next video. Like and subscribe if you guys like this. And hopefully we done some more birds.